Hello my friends, welcome to a brand new vlog, welcome to a brand new video. Mike and I are going to a pig roast. You know, I eat meat, but I don't really endorse a pig roasting, I don't know. Um, Mike has known Gus for a really long time, but I've got to know Gus and his wife Jackie, and so they invited us to their house for the pig roast. We went to the pig roast like two years ago, and it's, it's nice, cause you know, it's like a nice big gathering, and Gus and Jackie are very gracious hosts, and I really really enjoy the both of them. They are such a good time. But I just don't like seeing the pig like squishad in the thing that they cook it in. I don't know. It's just so I'm not going to show that to you. And I'm also kind of hoping that I don't get the tour of the pig. But anywho, that is where we are headed. Mike ran to the liquor store to I think he's going to get rum for Gus. We got flowers for Jackie. I'm going to bring a little like rum cake dessert. So that is what we are doing on this fine Saturday. Honestly, I just wanted to come on here looking cute. My brows are on fleek. I'm really loving this lipstick. It's the Charlotte Tilbury. I hated this and now I love it because I'm shopping my stash. As we all know, August shop free month for me in candy chic i also don't know what i did but i like scraped the bottom of this you probably can't see it but it's driving me nuts but i have candy chic and my muted mauve i said that really weird muted mauve by anastasia beverly hills as my lip liner but anywho i wanted to say hi now because it's really hot down the shore i felt like it was not as hot up north and so my makeup is probably gonna sweat off so i thought that it was a little bit cooler so i put a little bit more effort but this is what she looks like. Probably won't look like this later. But I just wanted to say hi now while I look cute because you guys know I like to say that I'm going to come on here and look cute, but most of the time I look like a toe. This morning I woke up early. I read, oh, I'm reading a new book. I'm reading Magnolia Parks, which is like a series. I read three chapters this morning. I then journaled, which was really great. I've been journaling a lot more since August 1st. So I journaled. I read, I'm kind of liking Magnolia Park, so I'm also not really liking it. I don't know, I feel like I need to give it a chance. I think I'm on chapter like eight, but I will keep you posted as I always do. I worked out, I did a, what did I do? A 30 minute, I think it was like a hit. I'll link it down below. I'm doing Sydney Cummings, her August program, which is called Balance. And then last night, guys, last night I went to yoga for the first time in like months and I got to use my new yoga mat. It was so nice. I took a little clip of it, it's so cute. And I got so many compliments. What'd you end up getting? Just a bottle of rum. We're off. I'll check in with you later. Today we got the tattoos out. We got the tattoos out. We got the... It's not really a great Palm angle. tree. It's a terrible angle. Yeah, I don't know what to say. And show them the other one, though. Oh, yeah. Look at the palm tray. Then we have the to be continued right there. And <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Terrible angle to replay. To replay. I do look like I'm going to garden though. I feel like I look more like a gardener in these shorts than anything else. Oh, I need lipstick. I can't fit anything in this thing though. Like I tried to bring my camera, kept turning it on and off in this bag. It's like a little too pink, I think, for nighttime though. I wish I had brought another lipstick. Mm, that helps. I should really have a mirror here. Can't fit a mirror in here. I need a mirror on the back of my phone. Ooh, uh, that's a great idea. You look nice. Okay, you sound like a pterodactyl. Is that on camera? Yeah, I did. I got that on camera. Oh. And, and I'm keeping it on the vlog. No. I am. That was an accident. Look, we matched though. Whoa. Look at us, matchy matchy. The lighting over here is terrible though. Like, Why don't we put lights on? Like we beach have, buddies. We have lights in here. We have lights in here. Is that what you're wearing? How do you put the lights on in here? Is I mean, I'm right? really trying to celebrate all the hard work I've been putting into the gym. You're so <laughs> annoying. Works out for two weeks and thinks he's like the elite half of the family. When really we all know who that is. I mean, that seemed to be the general consensus today. What? That I'm the elite half. I honestly, I mean, it's, I've been doing this a really long time. It's not right, Happy. You don't even drink water. I don't even understand. I'm sure, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. That's really fucked up. Um, should I go out with a fortune cookie bag? Then I can't bring my camera. My camera I brought to Gus's, it kept going on and off in my bag. Why? It's so small. I don't know. I think it kept, like, for some reason, it was, like, activating it. But the on and off button wasn't hitting anything. I was very confused. 
So I don't think I can bring it in fear that I will break my camera. Are you eating salami right now? No. Okay, tell everyone, Mr. Fit, what have you eaten today? A hot dog, a hamburger. I have a protein shake. Yeah, right. There you go. Health and Wellness by Michael D'Angelo. Feta salad with chicken. Oh, that feta salad was good. It was good. Your sister's cucumbers are good. Yeah. Yeah. And then I had some multi-grain Stacy's pita chips. Yeah. And a handful of gummy bears. Oh, uh, how much is a handful? Though? Like a legit handful or mm -hmm. like a Michael handful? Mm -mm. Like a like a legit like one serving hundred calories. Wow, I'm proud of you. Yeah, I'm proud of me too. Good job. The only reason that was though, to be honest, is because I only have about one handful left, and I needed another handful for right, and then the tomorrow or out. Monday before I buy more. Salvaging the gummy bears. All right, I and don't. Then, I guess me to tell. The oh, okay, yeah, you're right. Sorry. And then I had a hot dog, some plantains at Gus's. Yeah. And then I ate half of the. Cheeseburger that Fortune didn't finish. Actually, I ate like not even a quarter of it. You had like two bites of it, yeah. And then I had about four bites of it. Then I had some jerk chicken. That was spicy. A little bit of pork. And that's it. Have you had surf sides? I had two surf sides. This is my third. And what have I had today? And nobody tells me how fit I am. You have a small. I had no drinks at all. I had two bites of a hamburger. I had a protein shake. I had a feta salad. Oh, did you finish the feta salad? I did. Oh, I good. finished the feta salad. And then I had a protein bar. I should be fit. It what? should be you me. You are fit. I feel like I'm pretty fit. You're fit. Me. You're fit. I agree. But nobody notices. Just... That's fine. We don't need anybody noticing. I'm the only one that needs to notice. But I don't like these shorts anymore. I feel like I liked them when I was feeling chubby and now they feel very like frumpy on me. I feel like they need to come down. I mean, no problem. Okay. Should I put the white shorts on? Or was that like oh, too white? white? Terrible. What if I have the bag? Is that cute? Like cuter with the bag? Less of a front if I hide the front of the bag? Is I mean, that a less of a front? I don't know if this is going to make the vlog. It's on the vlog. The outfit's not made in the vlog? I'm going to give those shorts to your sister. I feel she's, like she'd like them. Some good fishing shorts. You know, but, I feel like these look like a pair of shorts that she has. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. How about now? Alright, anywho. Is this our first ice cream of the season? It is. Wow. It's wild. I love that you got pistachio though. That's normally my go-to. But this coffee's good. You wanna try it? Yeah, I do. It's not real caffeine. Oh. Try a little bite of that. Thank you. Mm. That's good, yeah. That's good. Doesn't look as spooky. It doesn't ever translate as spooky as it is. I am like not in the mood to do anything today. We woke up at the beach house, we went for a walk, we got coffee at our favorite little coffee spot, and then we drove back up north. You all know, I just feel blah um, every time we get back from the beach house, but here we are. I'm trying to find the motivation, and I'm getting my period today or tomorrow, so there is no motivation within me, I'll tell you that right now. I only have a 20 minute Pilates class, and I'm telling myself it's only 20 minutes so that I do it, but I just, I really don't wanna do it. I need to go buy a card for my sister because we're going to dinner for my sister birthday she went to Rhode Island with her boyfriend and I can't wait to hear all about their trip so we're doing like a family dinner I'm excited to go to dinner but I just feel like Mike and I have been driving and have been in the car all this weekend and I'm not looking forward to being commuting and moving for this week I actually have a work event I'm going down to Baltimore for like a day and it's just I'm tired and I'm getting my period and this is probably the worst week for all involved just like a lot to do and I'm trying to get organized I don't know I have this like weird epiphany this week that me trying to be more go with the flow and not being an organized human has really been wreaking havoc on my productivity I think and my mental health it's so weird I've always 
been such an organized, like kind of very like type A person. I've always been anxious, we all know this. But I feel like recently I haven't been planning my day minute by minute like I used to do. Like I used to do time blocks for everything in my planner. I haven't done that in like over a year. Also, very irritable today. The one neighbor has been riding his motorcycle up and down the street constantly. My other neighbor has been weed whacking for the last like hour and a half. And I just can't. I don't know if anyone else, I get like, what is that? Like audible, is it audible? I don't know, I get very like weird with noises, like noises and constant sounds like irk me. I'm really PMSing, it is terrible. She, I am feral today. I'm like very scatterbrained, I'm all over the place. I'm very anxious, I'm very tired. I want to like do the most and be productive, but like I just feel like I could really use a day in bed. Can anybody else relate? I also want to declutter a bit more, but I just, there aren't, there's not enough time. And the only thing that is getting me through today is the fact that I want to wear this dress. I will show you the dress. This is my motivation because I'm like, if I power through, I do my Pilates, I shower, I do my makeup, I get dressed, I will feel good in this dress. And that is the motivation. I've been trying to wear it for the past two weekends. And every time I take it out of my closet, Mike's like, don't you think that's like a little too fancy? This guy is like really driving me nuts. I can't, I really, it's terrible, but he's just like blowing leaves. Our neighbor just blows leaves and weed wax when there's nothing even there. It's like he does it as a weird ass hobby. It's so annoying, but this dress, I don't know. It's super cute. It has an open back. I was gonna wear it yesterday to the pig roast and Mike was like, I think that's a little fancy for a pig roast. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna do my Pilates. It's only 20 minutes, I can get through this. I need to just, Take a deep breath, get moving. And I feel like once I move my body and get moving, I'll feel better. Shower, dress, makeup, feel better. I also need to run to Walgreens because I thought I had a card for my sister and I don't. Maybe we'll pick up some cutesy things for her. And then, oh, I also have to go to the UPS store. I have so much to do in so little time. to say it and I hate to be that person to say it but you know what's really depressing the fact that it is getting dark early it's 7 20 and I had to move you from my beauty room which is where I just originally was it was too dark but I wanted to unbox my Fendi something that I bought from Fendi many weeks ago now I know we're doing a no buy or at least not we I should not say that we are not collectively doing it I'm doing it because I need to be punished I'm doing a no buy for August however I bought this quite a few weeks ago it was actually like kind of like a shipping scandal there is tea to the shipping I bought this bag which I regretted like almost immediately after I bought it. Do I still have a little bit of regrets? Maybe just a little bit, maybe just a little. And I'm gonna tell you why. Since uploading my what I bought from Fendi vlog, if you missed it, I will link it here. I have received a multitude of comments from people saying that they've been thinking about buying this. And so while I regret it, I am loving it. I am wearing it. Literally, this has been my go-to bag since I bought it. But I just wanna say that if you are in the market for a Fendi, Fendi Griffey bag, I would highly recommend, and I've said this to everyone who has commented on my video, if you're gonna buy one, I recommend buying the leather one simply because I do not think that this is worth the price point. This is not like Louis when I say that. It's not like the Louis Vuitton canvas. This is cloth. This is not canvas, okay? So canvas will last longer than leather. However, this is cloth. So this will not last as long as leather. This will not last as long as canvas. It is a cloth on the inside. It is a cloth. It is a crossbody strap and there's not like too much leather on here. There's this little guy that goes around that's leather and then this strap that is leather. I bought this several weeks ago. We're gonna unbox it. So I bought this bag. Y'all know if you've been with me, I was regretting it a little bit because I am a shoulder strap girly. I'm not a crossbody girly. However, this crossbody is like the perfect length for me. I'm five foot two. I've been wearing it 
nonstop. But before I really gave it a chance, which impulsive buying, I do this a lot. If you can relate, please let me know down below in the comments. I have like anxiety buys, like I anxiety buy. It's so freaking weird. But I bought this bag. I was like, I cannot believe I just spent all of my money, not all of my money, that's dramatic, but I cannot believe I just spent the amount of money that I spent on this bag on a bag that doesn't have a shoulder strap. So impulsive, anxious me, went to the Fendi store, the flagship store in New York City, and I met Christian, who was a wonderful salesperson, and he sold me on this strap. To ship it from New York to New Jersey, I was saving 50 bucks, which if I could save a dollar, I'm all about saving a dollar, save your coin. Although I should have saved more coin by not buying this, but I really do love this bag and I do feel like this bag is very, very me and it goes with my entire wardrobe. This bag is my aesthetic. And so I don't fully regret her, but again, I would say if you're thinking about it, buy the leather one, but I bought this strap. Let's open the strap. It was supposed to be overnighted. Let me open it and then I'll tell you the, the UPS scandal. Oh God. How do I open this one? Hold on, please. I need to do this fast. The sun is slowly setting. Here's the bag, okay? Another one of these bags. I don't need another one of these bags. I'm ridiculous. This is why I'm on a no-buy, okay? Okay, so, anywho. Inside of the yellow bag is a yellow box. Fendi Roma. Do we care about this? I don't care about this. I just, I'm not a pro at unboxing. I just go with it. This is what I bought in this little sack of nothingness. But anywho. We bought a strap. You may be saying to me, Fortune, we thought you said when you bought the bag that you tried it with a chain strap and it looked terrible. And my friends, it did look terrible because the strap that I was given to try when I purchased my bag, I purchased my bag at the Short Hills Mall, okay? I got this strap at the flagship on Madison Avenue in New York City. So when I went to Short Hills, they had a very skinny strap. And I don't think the strap goes well with the bag because the bag has a very large... Fendi in very large writing underneath. But anywho, let's stop talking and let's see what this looks like. It says Fendi again, because everything needs to say Fendi. I'm just saying, not that I need it to say Fendi, I don't care. Bang has two little straps that I have the crossbody on. Okay. So it just clips on, one, two, three. What do we think? Honestly. Here we go. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. I think I need to take off the crossbody strap to really get an idea. This is what it looks like. But I feel like this chunkier strap supports the detail of the bag more. So what do we think? Like, I just, what is that? Does that look good to you or does that look crazy? I don't know. It's heavy, I will say that. So it adds a lot more weight. It is a really nice length for my shoulder. So I don't know. I think I just I think I just threw more money at a bag that I already regretted buying in terms of the price point for what you get, if I'm being honest. And I should not have anxiously bought this strap. Will I use this strap? For sure. I do love a shoulder bag. I love a shoulder bag. But honestly, I've been really into a crossbody. And granted, this could just be like to bedazzle it too. Like it could be like a necklace for the bag. But this is, this adds a decent amount of weight and I don't like that it's adding so much weight to my skinny leather strap. Let me just pretend like I'm living. I mean, I am living, but you know, let me just pretend like I'm in my real life. I just think that that's too much. I think I would just wear it like this and take the crossbody strap off. I don't know, anyway, the, I'm crazy, but I will say that this is nice to have because the crossbody is very daytime and I feel as though the chain makes the bag a little bit more nighttime. Again, imagine that this wasn't here. I actually wanna see what this looks like on my other Fendi bag. Now this Fendi bag that I have is the Fendi Graffiti, but it's in the small and this is in the micro, I think. No, this is the nano, I don't know but this is like the one size above and this is a shoulder strap. This is the smaller one. And this is the bigger one. Let me do this. Oh, I think it looks better on this one. I don't know. I just feel like a chain doesn't look great on the small one. I think you need a bag that's a little bit more substantial. However, this is cute. Like I feel like that 
I don't know, I can't explain it. It doesn't feel as heavy on this one, on the strap, because the strap of the smaller one is so thin, you kind of just feel the weight more. I, I, I hope this is making sense. I like the chain better on this bag, but I don't need a chain for this bag because it's already a shoulder strap. Do we get what we sent? What I'm saying? I don't know. Anywho, I will use this. I think that it definitely makes my bags a bit more versatile. If I want to wear this bag at night, it will help enable me to wear it more at night because again, I just feel as though I just feel like the crossbody is so much more daytime. But guys, I love this bag as much as I keep like implying and, and honestly straight up saying that I do regret it. Um, I, I don't because I love this bag. I've worn it every single time we go out. I pair this with every single outfit and I'm someone where I like my husband's opinion. So like I'll get dressed, I'll try on different pairs of shoes, I'll ask Mike which shoes look better and then I'll do the same thing with my handbags. Like he is my shoe picker and my handbag picker and he has been saying that this handbag goes with everything. So I don't know. I'm done. I'm done though. I'm done shopping. I'm not buying any more handbags for the rest of the year. I'm not buying anything else to up the ante with any of my handbags. Um, I'm done. And I like it on this one because the strap is a little bit longer. See? So it's like a longer shoulder bag, which I think will come in handy in the winter months when I have to wear bigger coats. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, just a thought. UPS guy story. So I went to the store, <laughs> I bought the chain. They told me, Christian told me that it would be $50 cheaper if I shipped it to the house in New Jersey. So I told him to ship it. He was like, I'll ship it today. It'll be there by tomorrow. We're gonna overnight it. It got delayed. And then it didn't come until two days after. And then Mike and I went down the shore for the weekend. And then Monday we both go to work. So the UPS guy came, tried to deliver it three times and then left a note on the door and was like, sorry, it's going back. So Christian texted me, told me he was gonna re-mail it back to me. When they reshipped it, the UPS guy knocked on the door. The UPS guy was like, where have the two of you been? And like grilled Mike. And Mike was like, oh, I didn't realize it was a problem that, you know, we weren't here to sign for it. And he was like, actually, it is a problem. The guy gave Mike such a hard time. And I'm just like, I felt bad because it was my purchase. And I was the reason that the guy had to come back so many times. And I was also the reason that Mike got like reamed out by this UPS man. I just felt like it was a little like unnecessary though. You know, it was overnighted, but there have been delays. I just feel like with the weather, I don't really know. Like, has anyone ever gotten shit from their delivery person? I mean, I like the guy. He's so nice. He comes here all the time. Um, but it was weird. I think that this comes off and I'm kind of scared to like take it off. How would I get this back on? Oh, this is a disaster. I figured since I already messed it up, let me just take it off and see if I could take it off like the leather strap. And you can take the leather strap off. Although, please don't ask me. I have no idea how I now go about putting the leather strap back on. And this is like the perfect shoulder strap length. But I don't know if you can see that it keeps like curling this way. I don't know why. It's like kind of driving me nuts. But I'm not buying any more Fendi bags. I'm not buying any handbags for the rest of the year. And I'm not buying another damn strap for this damn bag. So let me take this off. Let me rearrange myself. And let me figure out if I can put this strap back on. I kid you not, I started this a little bit before eight o'clock. It took me, I don't know if you could see, you probably can't see that, it's 825. It took me almost a half an hour to put this strap back on. Mind you, there are no tutorials online on how to put this strap back on. So I literally <laughs> Googled the Fendi Grey bag, pulled up a picture from Fendi. I think that this is right, but I'm not 100% sure that this is right. Yeah, so I'm never taking this strap off again in fear that I will never be able to put it back on. This is like a puzzle. I honestly, like, I feel fine about it. Also, I was just watching back the clip of me showing you my bag and you can see my underwear hanging out up the back of my dress because it's open so i guess i'll show you but thanks everyone who i spent the day with aka michael and familia thanks for letting a girl know but let me show you the dress this is the dress sorry it is very dark it's now 8 30 and the sun is down how depressing is that i'm really i'm not I don't mind the fall. I love the fall. Halloween is my favorite holiday. And I honestly don't mind the holiday season, like Christmas, Thanksgiving. I hate the dark. But anywho, this is the dress. Very summery, very pretty. And I like the back. However, my thong keeps poking out from un from the back, from underneath. Um, but this was the dress of the day. This is what I wore. I wore it with this little bag. 
I need to like seriously go decompress for like an hour and a half before it's time to go to bed. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much as always for hanging out with me. If you're not yet subscribed and you like chaotic vlogs that just maybe make you feel a little bit more normal, um, make sure to subscribe. Click the bell button next to it. This way you get notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. I'm going to go because honestly, I'm not even sure if my camera is focusing and I don't want to make you nauseous. But until the next one, I will love you and leave you here. Have a beautiful day, a beautiful week, a beautiful night, whenever it is you're watching it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mwah.